The Very Hungry Caterpillar The designer lost in his own project, unable to make satisfied decisions and move to the next phase. In our previous video, we explored how designers make decisions throughout the design process. This was done by interviewing students, conducting two pressure cookers and searching for various methods regarding to decision making. This resulted in the following result. Firstly, designers each have their own different approach of making decisions throughout the design process. Secondly, setting up deadlines and structures in your project help you form a more complete result. And finally, there are various methods available for you to help making decisions. But what can you learn from these results? Looking at the first pressure cooker, the group did not add any structure to their approach, causing an overload of rash decisions that had to be made right before the deadline. For the second session, the group did apply a structure, by assigning different time slots to different phases of their project. This resulted into a more shared load of decisions. An approach like this may lead into a less satisfied feeling during the earlier decisions, but a much more complete and satisfied result in the end. So does this mean that setting deadlines in your project solve all decision-making problems? Deadlines and structure can certainly push you into making decisions, based on the results of the pressure cooker. However, this also means that it allows less flexibility and dynamic for iteration and improvisation along the process. So how can structure be implemented in a more flexible and dynamic way? It starts by viewing your process as iterative loops with opportunities for reflection and iteration. This way, the decisions will feel less permanent because you are still able to revisit them throughout your project. Think about the very hungry caterpillar that has to evolve his unchanging eating behavior to a more free-flowing butterfly behavior. Besides that, Every designer has internal factors that influence their decision making. Each designer has his or her own way of designing based on unique characteristics. Then there are also external and context related influences. The time available and type of project for example can determine what kind of approach is most appropriate. Meaning that in the end, applying structure and deadlines can help you go through a smooth process. Be aware that your decisions don't have to be final because you can still revisit them. And finally, consciously choose an approach that fits your style and project. Because only then, you as a designer can evolve from a hungry caterpillar into a confident butterfly. Thanks for watching.